Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casper the Boy Diviner and today I have the Curious Travels Tarot deck uh, to show you guys. To be very honest, I received this late last year but I have not used it yet. Why? Is because I was kind of turned off by this deck immediately when I opened it. I know, I feel like I'm kind of biased here. Um, this is a deck created by this artist called Arozier. Okay, uh, so that's her name, Amelia Erosier, uh, 78 original watercolors. Uh, there are beautiful metallic gold detailing, really. Um, so it is actually a very functional deck, I would say. I really liked the deck when I saw the paintings on the Kickstarter. Um, what I didn't realize were a few things. So when I, when the deck was was uh, sent out, or before it was even sent out, when the Kickstarter ended, um, Amelia actually let all of us know that this deck would be mass marketed. So I kind of felt a bit, I, I know this is bad. I know I'm, I should be happy for the artists. I am, I'm happy they found the success. I'm happy I was able to support them uh, before they found that commercial success. At the same time, it was so soon. I have not even gotten my deck yet. And then there was this announcement and it just felt a bit disappointing. Like I felt like maybe I should have just waited and just got the commercial one instead. Um, that's number one. Number two, when I opened the deck, so again, I was biased, right? I already was a bit disappointed. Uh, even though that, there is nothing wrong, there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. But then the second thing was, um, I kind of care about typography and I really didn't like this font. I really didn't like this font. I, I don't know what happened to me, but when I was looking at the Kickstarter, I think I only saw the images, which are beautiful. But I didn't notice the font that they were using and I really don't like the font. And the last part of what turned me off the most is that this is... Uh, quite a rose petal finish and I really don't like it. Can you hear how how it that is you know it's not slippy like um, some of the other decks I have. I prefer something um easier to shuffle and this doesn't feel shuffleable. So I kept it in the book I uh, kept it in the box. I didn't look at it for the longest time. But recently I pulled it out again thinking maybe I should just do a walkthrough since I have it. And I felt drawn to the deck again. I like the images too much. The the font still bothers me. The texture still bothers me but I think this thing from the the mass market uh, news has faded. Um, so I thought, you know, I should just consecrate this and try this out. It actually came with a, a tarot cloth. So this is how the tarot cloth looks like. It is not a big cloth, it's pretty small. Um, it is functional, it is okay. Um, I don't really like the color orange that much uh, and I don't know if it complements the deck, but um, it is what it is. It also comes with this uh, tower uh, pin, which is also okay. And then without further ado, let's go through the deck. It doesn't come with a little white book, which is perfectly fine because it is quite traditional, except for this uh, deck, right? This this one. The Travelers is an extra card. The Fool, very nice. That kind of risk-reward kind of uh, feeling. Uh, you can see the back also, the Crown, the Moon, the Sun, the Magician. Very nice, that growth. You can see the little face here that's so cute. So it's little touches like this that really draws me to the deck. I just wish it didn't have this... Uh, thing. The High Priestess, you can see the gold detailing in every single card. Uh, it's not only just in the Majors, it, it is in every single card. Uh, the High Priestess, very nice. The Empress. So the art is so beautiful. This is why I felt drawn to the deck again. The Emperor, I don't really like this Emperor, but it is uh, okay. The Hierophant, very cute, very nice. You can see the Supplicants still here. The Lovers, you see this is the reason why maybe a bit of a guidebook would help. I just want to understand why this is, why this would be the lovers. So the chariot, it is also fe it feels very lover-ish, but uh, I do see a small chariot here, so I can still read it traditionally. Strength. The hermit, very nice. I really like this, uh, this, this one, with the third eye being like the uh, gold detail. The wheel of fortune. Justice, the kind of balance. The Hanged Man, very cute. Death, another one of my favorites in this deck. Temperance, uh, the title card. Uh, I like how the detail of uh, the angel removing their shoes. The Devil. The Tower. The gold detail, very nice. The Star. Also very nice, look at the gold details. I like the, the multiple hands, I like the hands that are on, on the top. The moon, another one of my favorites in this deck. The sun, very cute. 
So yes, um, it has turned around and I enjoy this deck much more after giving it some time. So this is why sometimes um, it's so hard to purge a deck or sell a deck because you don't know, you don't know if things will turn around like this one. And this one has turned around for me. Judgment. The world. Very nice. Again, the traditional four features. Then let's move on to the minors. The ace of wands. The two of wands. Very nice. I like the swing. Being the two wands, you can see that she's holding something. So I don't know if this is an egg. That kind of um, potential. The three of wands. Very nice. The four of wands. Kind of celebration. The bees are so cute. The five of wands. Very traditional conflict. The Six of Wands, the, the Coming Back. This is one of the ones that I don't really like. The hands look like more like um, hands from the ground, like some sort of torture. And, and the ones here don't look cel celebrate, celebratory. Um, but the, this is supposed to be a celebratory, victory kind of um, card. But I don't really see it here. The Seven of Wands, very cute. The Orangutan, I don't know why it's an Orangutan. So these are the reasons why um, a bit of a little white book would be nice or some sort of explanation or a uh, PDF uh, guidebook. If I missed anything and you have this deck, please let me know. The Nine of Wands, very nice. The Ten of Wands, I like this a lot. The Page of Wands, they're kind of salamander. So they do keep that uh, traditional um, animal here. The Gecko, the Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands, very nice. I like the Kings and Queens in this deck. Very cute. The King of Wands. I also like that um, they have the, the motif of the suit. So you know what it is. The One of Cups. Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. Very nice. Intertwined. The Three of Cups. Friendships. Those peaches or pumpkins look really nice. The Four of Cups. Very traditional. Very nice. The Five of Cups. Again, traditional. The Six of Cups, traditional but better. I like this uh, retelling of that story. The Seven of Cups, also very traditional. The Eight of Cups, same. The Nine of Cups, I love this Nine of Cups. I love this so much. So traditionally, it's a man sitting in front of his cups. But here, you barely see the person. You see more of the, the Nine Cups. So there's a so sort of abundance kind of feeling. At the same time, you can see that the person is hidden by their status. They forget themselves. Uh, recently in Singapore, there's a guy who owns a Rolls Royce and he refused to drive through a lane because he says it was too narrow for him. And he blocked many, many cars for many, many minutes just because he didn't want to scratch his car, uh, even though the, the lane was clearly wide enough. So, yeah, you know, that's the kind of feeling I get from here. The Nine of Cups, you reach a certain status, but that kind of status kind of jails you or, or kind of um, makes you become a worse person than before. The Ten of Cups, very nice. I love this uh, relationship between the sun and the moon. The Page of Cups, very nice. The hair being the water. The Knight of Cups, I really like this too. I like the court cards in this deck. There's a sense of humor. Can you see this? So cute. The Queen of Cups, a fish. And then the King of Cups, another fish. Very cute. I really like the courts in this deck. Um, the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. Very nice with the moon as well. The three of the three of swords, which is the 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 you know the real heart being stabbed by the swords. The four of swords. This person doesn't seem like they're resting. So if this feels more anxiety ridden, the five of swords. I like this uh, interpretation of it. The added uh, context of the bandages, as if this person has lost something, has fought hard for these swords that people leave behind. The six of swords, standard. The Seven of Swords. This one is a bit different. The kind of tricky nature, I, because I don't really see foxes as tricky, so, you know, I have to kind of remember the original. The Eight of Swords, very nice. I like this imagery a lot. The Nine of Swords, the kind of anxiety-ridden nature here. The Ten of Swords. I also like this interpretation where, uh, you know, again, is it a cape? Is it blood? We don't know. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. These two are the most like boring <laughs> court cards so far. But the Queen of Swords, you barely can see her face. She's a mystery. She's covered with butterflies. And then the King, again, another mystery. Okay, and then we move on to the coins, the Ace of Coins. Very nice. 
the two of coins i really like this uh sh she does so well with the multi hands thing like the uh th the stars the three of coins very nice the four of coins the five of coins a bit different from that salvation look this looks like someone who who doesn't know how to be helped you know instead of seeking help they don't know how to be helped the six of coins more of a balance and a charity kind of feeling this this overlord is like making them jump for it so it doesn't have that kind of charity feeling the seven of coins very nice the kind of uh gardener i really like this imagery the eight of coins and the nine of coins of nine of pentacles is always one of my favorites in the deck i always love to see different interpretations and i love this interpretation this is so nice this is so good the ten of coins elephants again from the lovers just wondering why um so i'm guessing the lovers have formed a family here so that kind of makes sense the page of coins this is more grounded this is the most grounded um the knight of coins the queen of coins and her abundance with her fruits and the king of coins with his grapes so i really like this deck this deck is is cute i really like the art I just wish some of the things were a little different. I wish the cardstock was different. I wish, um, you know, she, I, 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 yeah, I wish the cardstock was different. I wish the, the font was different. But I do like the little touches with the, with the, the suit. Uh, it doesn't shuffle like super easily, but it is manageable. I guess I'm, I'm getting better at shuffling uh, rose petal finishes. This is not as rose petal y as like, um, uh, let's say, the. Um, well, I can't remember that, that deck's name, but um, yeah, it's not super rose petally, it's slightly better, but there's still a, a bit of friction here and there. Okay, I'm going to try to full shuffle it just to show you guys. Then we're going to do some, uh, just putting them side by side to see if they work. Okay, they do riff shuffle okay. They do riff shuffle okay. Let's do a, like, like a little side by side showing of uh, different cards. Okay. Um, how will it look? Okay, two, one. Yeah, clearly I'm not shuffling that well. Okay, the, the world. So they look quite nice. Um, I'm not a fan of the spread cloth. But yeah, pretty nice. Okay, um, this is again the curious, the curious uh, Travels Tarot deck. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And that will really help me out. You guys have a great rest of the day. You take care. Bye.